Hey, what's going on everybody? All right, so today's video blog is about the Landlord and Tenancy Act and what procedures and processes to use if you're trying to evict a tenant. Now, tenants obviously have rights as well. Landlord and Tenancy Act states everything. Feel free to uh, take a look as to what temperatures you know the property has to be at at all times. Um, the, the right to be able to enjoy the property without being hassled. Your landlord doesn't have the right to walk into your property unless there is an extreme emergency, such as a plumbing issue or something that needs to be dealt with right away. Other than that, your tenant needs to be notified by 24 hours in writing regarding any visits or showings. On the flip side, landlords, if you're trying to sell an investment property and your tenant is giving you a hard time and they won't allow anybody to show the property, you can actually offer, you can actually um, submit a form as well that the fact that they're preventing you from selling it. Um, there's a whole bunch of different forms for different situations. The most important one, obviously, is the unpaid rent. If your tenant is late on paying rent on the first day, when you go to collect the rent, you go with an N4 form right away. N4 form is for non-payment of rent. Because if you don't do it the first, second, or third time, and you start getting sick of it, and after six months you're like, you know what, this is getting out of hand, you've actually set the precedent to let the tenant get used to the fact that they can pay their rent late. Okay, so whenever they come by, you're gonna, you're gonna pay your rent, they say, oh, I've got this story, this is why I can't pay it. No problem, here's your N4 form. Once you've paid up, that N4 form is uh, null and void, and you move on your way. And if they don't pay, then you can at least say to the judge that, hey, look, I've paid it from this, I, I've offered it to them from this date, uh, and then you can start the eviction process, okay? It's a long, drawn-out process. If you make one mistake on the on the forms when you're filing something, you, you're back to square one, okay? So you want to make sure that you're handling it properly. If you're not comfortable doing this kind of stuff, make sure you hire a paralegal, okay? Even a real estate agent cannot represent you when it comes to evicting somebody. I can advise somebody, but I can't actually go there to represent you, okay? So uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me, Jacob at soulbyjacob.com or on Instagram and Facebook, Soul by Jacob. However, uh, you'd be better off going on the Landlord and Tenancy Act online and reading through that as well. All right, hope you're all doing well. Talk soon.